I'm tired. Go ahead the floor! We have officially made it further on this build than we ever expected to this year. Show us your notepad. And that makes this piece of cardboard. So that column didn't get set perfectly the same as that column. And that makes our apartment grow by one inch on that side. So did I get an extra inch of living room? Or yes. did I lose an inch of bedroom? Uh, we're gonna go with you got an extra <laughs> inch of living room. Score. So we started, we went along with the tape measure and on this wall and then also along our post here, we marked all of the locations for our joist hangers. I think we should put in each one of these five joists to get this all set where it goes and then we'll fill in the rest of them as we go along. Cool. The building supply store had these cool Simpson screws that are intended for installing joist hangers and we're gonna give them a try. Yesterday was a little frustrating. Building the second floor like this is another totally new thing to us and we didn't really know exactly, we knew what the finished product is supposed to look like, but how to get there wasn't really clear to us. And as we put each joist in, it started pushing the beam out until next thing we knew we had a rainbow beam and we had to kind of take everything out and start back over at square one. I think we have a system figured out now. I've got some family coming into town this evening, which I am very excited about, but we have a few hours to get a little work done before they get here. We're gonna get some more joists in and it's gonna be a great day. We're using two by 10 joists that come in at just about nine and an eighth. So we made this little jig for setting the joist hangers where we just set it on, slide the hanger up into place. <laughs> that was a fail. Let's try that again. And screw the hanger in. It ensures our hanger goes on uh, at the right height and also goes on square. It makes setting these up a breeze and we eliminate a lot of measurement errors. <laughs> so we start by fully screwing in one side but leaving the other side loose. That allows us to easily get the joist in and then once the joist is in, we pull this in tight and screw the rest of the way. The step is monotonous 
and incredibly boring, but it's also really exciting because it means we're gonna have a floor soon. How do you feel about hanging 64 joists? <clears throat> it's cool for me because every time I come up here and I stand here, I can like envision our apartment coming together. So like Cordy just said, it's exciting, but at the same time, we're almost done. Our floor joists are in. Now that we've got all that done, it's time to add blocking down the center and that keeps the joists from being able to twist under load and get all the bolts set in all these posts and beams. And then we get to take this pile of OSB and we get to put a floor down. I'm so excited. Well, we have a floor down, that means we get to stand inside our apartment and see like what it's gonna we feel like. We can sleep up there. <laughs> mm, I'll choose the camper. <laughs> Risky business, top step of the ladder. I'm putting a new bit in the impact so that I can take this little thingy apart and save the 13 cent screws. This handy little guy has been an absolute time saver. It just double stick tapes to the side of the impact and holds the bits. That way I always have them with me, whichever one I happen to use. Cause it seems like on this project, every screw uses a different size or style of driver bit. <laughs> I'll go ahead and link to this thing. It was super cheap and you can get them on Amazon. The next step is to run blocking in between each floor joist down the center. That keeps the joist from being able to twist under load and helps have a nice stiff floor. So I think we could have gotten away with two by eight floor joists, but the upgrade cost to go to a two by 10 was marginal and that's gonna give us a nice stiff floor upstairs and we're still gonna have plenty of space downstairs. I was a little bit worried about the headroom down here and if it, it was gonna feel, but there is so much room. Like, <laughs> We're gonna end up with more than nine foot once we get the slab poured. I think in the apartment we're gonna have eight foot ceilings, which is plenty. So I'm very happy about that. I'm like a smurf now. <laughs> Covered in blue chalk. I think you overfilled this thing. Like last time we used it, it didn't even make a line, so I wanted to make sure we were. We are chalky, all right. I mean, ah! Oh, <laughs> he lowered it on my hair! This joist is sagging a little bit. And as a result, there's a gap up at the top here. So we're gonna clamp it to get that gap out of it. Otherwise, we're going to chase that problem all the way through. Beautiful. All right, it worked. We could, the gap closed up and the sag got out of this guy. Riley was a champ and he got all of our blocking in. Now it's time to put the OSB up, which I think is more of a Courtney excavator job than a Riley excavator job. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lift it, <laughs> lift it up. Yeah, I don't wanna lift it. Do you wanna lift it? No. I think we should make YouTube suffer again and watch us use a pulley. <laughs> Thank you.
We're gonna hand set the few first ones in a place so that then we can use the excavator to lift the stack up onto a finished floor section so that we don't have to move the whole stack again. You good? Mm -hmm. My ladder's not good. Do I have to walk over there? If you want to. <laughs> no? No. First steps into the apartment. Yeah. Should you use the other ladder? Probably. Riley. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> was that screws? That was all of your screws. <laughs> Riley. Oops. Are you stuck? No. I'll make it safer for you though. Okay. Okay. That went really smooth and saved us quite a bit of heavy lifting feels like we'll be able to get the rest of this floor knocked out here in a couple hours. Can I join you? Yes, please. I don't know how to do like this. Oh, that's better. This is the first time I've been up here. This is really cool. But this is where we're going to live. Time to get the rest of the subfloor laid, and now that I have help, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'm the help. <laughs> We are running out of daylight. I think we're gonna keep working. We got some lights out and we're gonna push to get the subfloor done tonight. That means we probably don't get to bring you guys along for it because it's impossible to film when it's dark, but stay tuned and tomorrow we will hopefully have a finished subfloor. How many sheets are left? One and a half. Almost there. We're delirious! Last sheet. There. I'm tired. But I have a floor! We have officially made it further on this build than we ever expected to this year. A week ago, we were celebrating having metal siding on our building. And now we have a floor in our apartment. It feels like a huge milestone to think that we are now working on where we're going to live, not just what we're going to live inside of. I thought if we had a roof before winter, I was gonna be happy. And I'm usually, I usually set really unrealistic expectations for us. We pushed hard into the night to get this done. And that means tomorrow we get to start fresh and start framing.
all the support and encouragement from you guys helps us just keep working harder and uh, and harder and harder <laughs> and later and I think we're gonna need some better lights. Thanks so much as always for liking, subscribing, commenting, Patreon, YouTube membership. There are a ton of ways that you guys support us. The easiest way to support us is just to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. It's time for dinner and bed. And the dogs are hungry too. Boone doesn't like when I do this. <laughs>